Hey guys, this is Miko from MO Sound Lab, and this is how you export impulse responses from Miko, the next generation cabinet simulator. Let's check it out. So here we are in Miko, and I have this IR mix that I've been working on. I really like it. The cool part about Miko is that you can actually export this as an IR file, impulse response, that you can use anywhere, meaning that if you have an XFX3, XFX2, AX8, FM3, uh, Kemper, a Helix, HX Stomp, a Moore GE300, a Boss GD1000, you know, the list goes on and on. In the DAW, if you have an IR loader, you can use these IRs anywhere. All you really have to do is, once you have the sound that you like, just click export and you'll get this pop-up with settings. Right now we have 48k and 96k. Uh, we will also include 44.1k for Kemper users soon, uh, so be ready for that. Choose the bit depth, but for example, for the Fractal Audio XFX3 that I'm using, I need to have 48k, 24 bits, and mono. And if I have some kind of stereo settings in Miko, if I've panned the microphones in any way, I can export a stereo IR or the left and right side separately and use that setup also somewhere else. Um, by default we have it set to minimum phase transform. What this does is it aligns the IRs with most of the IRs out there. But you can also have this off and this will retain the raw information of the IR, meaning that it's actually a little bit more authentic sounding but it's a very subtle difference so you don't really have to worry about that then just click export and choose the file destination where i need to have this mikos mix i'll call it mikos mix and now that i saved that file i have it on my computer i can use it anywhere i like generally speaking all you need to know is for fractal units have 48k 24 bits mono for Helix, it's 84k, 16 bit mono. And minimum phase transform is maybe wise to have on if you intend to mix these IRs maybe later with some other IR so you don't get any phase problems. That's all there is to it, really. It's really simple. People requested for it, so here it is. Um, be sure to give me more requests for videos and tutorials on how to use Miko or anything else. I'd love to do it. Just subscribe to my channel and recommend some topics below in the comments. Cheers and see you guys later. Bye.